So I want to show you guys what's happened with Intel just in the past month. So um, hardware on hardware unboxed as well as um, PC perspective have done some retests of the Intel A750. Now in their testing of the A750 with the new graphics drivers, they've actually shown that on a lot of occasions, this card is now performing so well that it's above the 3060 Ti. In some instances, it's, you know, it's above the 7600. Um, and if you take a look at the hardware on box results, they concluded that it's a total of just 12% slower than the RTX 4060. So if you put, if you take those um, updated numbers into account, I've plugged them into the Tech Power Up leaderboard. And where that actually ends up putting the Intel Arc card is right here. So this list is based on the Tom's Hardware uh, leaderboard with the most powerful raster card at the top and least at the bottom. This is based on 1440p ultra performance. So um, what we're seeing here is that the Arc A750 is now sitting at 37.6% the performance of the RTX 4090. And that's how the leaderboard is, um, is ranked. It's based on percentage performance to the RTX 4090, which is the fastest card on the market. Um, the reason this is a big deal is because previously it was only 36.5%. So they've actually bumped up two places on the leaderboard just from a driver update. So this just shows Intel are making a lot of improvements to their card's performance. Um, now you might think, well, that's not such a big update in performance, but just keep in mind that is the average, right? 37.6%. So in some games, it probably didn't change, but in other games, it might have gone up, you know, 15% or something like that. So um, just a small bump in the average performance can actually be a really big difference in some games. All right, now, that's why um, the A770 on my performance leaderboard, if we go across, go across to my performance leaderboard which has all the Australian prices on it as well. So again we have the best performing at the top, least performing at the bottom and we can see all the Australian prices and here is the A750. It used to be sitting here below the Radeon 7 and below the 5700 XT but with the improvements from its driver updates it's now sitting up here just below the 3060-12G and in fact it's actually pretty much tied with the 3060-12G. If you look at the actual numbers, it's not far off. Um, although it is only an eight gigabyte card. Um, now, um, how does this relate to the A770, which is the card I'm recommending? Well, the A770 hasn't been retested by hardware unboxed or anyone else I've noticed, but it runs on the same drivers as the A750. So the driver improvements to the A750 carry across to the A770. So I'm thinking this A770 is going to be bumped up this list as well if it gets retested. So the A770 at the moment I think is a really good purchase and that's why I've put it for the best card under $300, although it is a little bit over $300.